After you've created all of your MetaBox options for your landing page, you can go ahead and copy your entire config.php file and head over to plugins.inboundnow.com slash index creator. And basically what you can do is plug in your config.php code here and actually generate your index.php header. And what this will do is basically give you all the markup that you'll need in the top of your index.php landing page file. And what it's doing is basically grabbing all those options that you set for the user and giving you an easy, quick way to uh, put that into your template. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this to my clipboard and go into your index.php file that existing landing page design that you already have the HTML and CSS for. So this is just a sample page. Um, you can see the full page in the other demo videos. But basically once you copy the file from the index creator, that's gonna be the header of your uh, file here. So what that does is basically defines your template name, adds in some stuff that we need to run the actual template starts the WordPress loop, and then defines your, your, your user-defined um, inputs in, for use in the actual template. And there's some if this is a value, examples, etc. And there's also some echo helpers. So if I wanted to, for example, echo out the user input uh, content, I can go ahead and copy that um, echo right here and basically put that in the actual file. So this would actually echo out the user-defined information in my template. The next step is just adding in the normal WordPress stuff. So in the title tag, you're gonna wanna use the underscore title. Um, that's to use different SEO plugins and what have you. Um, you'll also want to insert the normal WP underscore head to echo out any JavaScript or any other uh, scripts. This also controls a lot of SEO plugins. Um, LP underscore head, that's a landing page specific function to run third party um, extensions and plugins. So you'll definitely want to include that in your template. Um, this is that example of echoing out some of the metadata that is defined up at the top of the template. Um, there's some echo helpers that are uh, created for you that you can use in the template. Um, you'll want to use the title just like in a normal WordPress page. That'll echo out your primary headline. Um, the content, that'll echo out obviously the content box um, you'll also want to include LP underscore conversion area. That's going to echo out the form area, or if it's a link people are clicking on, that's going to be where all the tracking happens and how you can track all the different conversion rates and what have you. And then finally, you want to make sure that you uh, end the WordPress loop that we opened up at the top of the post, otherwise the template will fail. So that closes the WordPress loop. And then two additional functions here, LP footer, that's the landing page specific footer to load, again, third-party integrations. And then finally, the uh, WP underscore footer, and that's just loading the normal WordPress footer. A lot of analytics plugins run off that, so make sure that you include that in your HTML file. And that's pretty much it. This will be a pretty quick and dirty landing page where the user will have different options. And again, these are defined in this um, templates config.php file. But um, yeah, and you can set up conditional logic. So if they use something, you know, set up a different style or what have you. And those will all be explained in other tutorial videos. But this is just quickly showing you the basic structure of the index.php file, starting with the header tag that we generated, and then your markup with the uh, WordPress goodies added in and the conversion area.